All right, so the first um, the first match here at Beverly Love 14 is going to go to Smashville, Starchville, as the as the kids like to say. And Gon's actually going. Oh, that's right. Gon is a warrior. There we go. I I, I knew. I know. Okay. I knew that. I knew that. But in any case, we have Godzilla playing the uh, the Wario. So we have two big bodies, but one of them being a lot more mobile, and they both have really good aerial options. Uh, Wario with his fair, his nair, and his um back air. I think it's back. Yeah, his back air um does work well. Not, not as quickly as DDDs. DDD also having a quick fair, nair, and back air. Um, up airs. I don't think they're that great. Actually, no, DDDs is great. It's a great KO option, but um. But otherwise, otherwise, yeah, they go. There are two players that are just really strong. Now you have Sonic and Peach over on the right side. I can't really see any synergy between these two. Like maybe Peach can get an up smash from a Sonic down throw as possibly the best option, or maybe even a, like a side smash as well, also an option. But otherwise, I see it's more so like the stage control, where Sonic's going to be trying to hold the ground, and in case anybody's jumping, a floating Peach will be there to drop a fair or a nair or a back air, or an up air, or just any of the floating crap that people like to do. Golfing, go, um, DDD straight to the bottom right corner of the screen and almost messing up there. Looks like um, as a side smash from Wario took out Sync, and then Sync followed up on D-Curve and took two stocks immediately, putting the red team up by stocks. But DDD sticking out 157% and in a bad position right now. I think um, Gons looks like he's trying to put a little pressure on, on his opponent. Opponents to save his partner was definitely a good idea. Got caught by the golf club on the whiff dash grab, expecting him to dash in and just got caught by the golf club. And that is the first stock gone. Godzilla is now the stock tank, but a simple back throw for Peach is going to cost them that stock. We are now tied by stocks. Damage is slightly in Red Team's favor, but it's not anything that can't be quickly brought back, especially if you see some Sonic shenanigans with the footstool, spin dash combos, and the springs, and the fares. As a matter of fact, the damage has been brought back. Now red, now green team is in the lead. Now green, and now red team is in the lead. Alright, this game is just really close. Like, one move probably separates them by damage. I think he tried to absorb his partner and got Sonic anyway due to Godzilla, like, air dodging out of the way. Honestly, I would have preferred it if he got gone if DDD sucked up Wario because that would have been a heavy projectile. For those of you guys who don't know, depending on the character's weight, that DDD sucks up, or, or um, Kirby as well. When you spin them out, the heavier they are, the bigger, the more knockback they have. It's like, just a, like a boulder. Like a big boulder has more knockback than a small boulder. So think of it like that. Sink trying to put on a little bit of edge game there. Getting a little impatient as well. Oh, the Gordo putting a little pressure on D-Curve. While D-Curve is just floating off the ledge. Putting that pressure on Wario out there a little too early. Got the heart. Yo, look at like Pasta a couple weeks ago with that hard up smash on the ledge. Peach's up smash is really good. Looking like a, like a guard for a counter. Oh, and the down smash from Delibird. Body Sonic sends him to the blast zone. DDD sitting at 157% is the liability here. It also means that he's a source of strength. If Gons can just put on the pressure. But first of all, DDD is being way too aggressive. Please stop. He needs to fall back and throw Gordo, just apply pressure and allow Gon to do what he needs to do. And look at d -Curve putting the umbrella hitbox out there. Did he get caught? I think he got caught by Godzilla's fair when he was trying to put pressure on Peach on the ledge. I think he rolled right into that, and that is unfortunate. Almost wafting his own partner as well. The Gonzilla, Gonz and Delibird, they are really just in each other's way. Caused himself a couple of stocks. Sink going for the up B down air. Kind of wayward though, just putting in that situation. Ooh, that was a whiff. All right, D-Curve floating back to the stage. Meanwhile, Godzilla just threw Delibird there, again, hitting his own partner. Ooh, that up smash from Wario just looks so ugly. Like, how do you even bend your neck that way? I'm pretty, yo, this man must have the go a god like chiropractor. That's all I'm saying is that Wario's chiropractor must really be Jesus himself. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, D-Curve. Ran into the up smash from Sink. He ran into it, cost himself his own stock, and then from the confusion, Deli Bird just capitalized the side smash, and that is it. Like, it's just so much team clashing happening right now. Like, they're really just hurting each other, and they need to just respect each other's space. Like, when they're fighting their opponent, unless they're being juggled off stage, let them do them. Trust your partner in a one-on-one -on -one situation. If you're on the same stage, then retain that space. Try to um, separate your opponent before they separate you, because you both have the same game plan, so you gotta figure out how to get inside of them. 
Um, but that was just a wild matchup, and the ending of that is just so unfortunate. Again, D Curve, I don't know why he ran in, because he had, excuse me, um, he had a good amount of space to just see he's charging it up an up smash, but he kept running, and then the up smash got released from some from Sync the Sonic, caught himself into it, and then it was just downhill from there. So they got to make sure to just respect each other's opponent. Both green team and red team needs to do this. But here we go to counter pick from D Curb and Sync. We are going to Duck Hunt, a stage that both Peach and Sonic enjoys thanks to that platform on the right side. But then again, DDD kind of enjoys this stage as well. Those Gordos are going to have a lot of fun. Between the platforms on the right side, he can drop a, drop a Gordo from a platform and have a lot of just like height and, uh, and area covered. Definitely going to be enjoying this. Without a doubt. Alright, down smash, sitting in sync, way off to the stage. As a matter of fact, Sync is already sitting at 101, 116%, 117%, and Deli Bird putting a lot of pressure on him. Alright, putting that Gordo off the ledge, put, keeping D Curb in his shield, and that's really good because when you keep your opponent in shield, that means that they cannot move, they cannot attack. So you can just grab them or take advantage of the fact that they're scared to do anything and go attack the, their um, the partner. Going for the dash attack, Deli Bird looking like a monster right now. Really getting aggressive in this matchup. Oh wow, just swung that golf club. D Curb and Green, green Team now has stage control. As a matter of fact, even put it back by damage. Sonic Court got up to 115 rather early, but hasn't taken much damage since then. And now has Red Team separated entirely. Godzilla sits up in the air on the right side. Deli Bird being fared off to the stage. This is what I wanted to see from the last time. Is that as Green Team synergy and respect for each other. You have um, Kurt D right now yet. Almost a double. Oh my god! Alright, he did get a KO, so he took a stock with that. So that's not exactly terrible. <laughs> But yeah, that wasn't exactly terrible. Um, but Deli Bird coming back quickly. Peach up on the platform. I guess trying to bite out time. DDD putting on immediate pressure, up bearing her, then landed on the middle platform and then with while and caught him out of a sidestep into an up smash and ended up taking that stop. Green uh, Green Team is still in the lead by damage. As a matter of fact, the big bodies seem to be having a hard time. Excuse me. Um, the, the big bodies, um, Team Red Team, seem to have a hard time just landing on the ground and retaining stage control. And I think that's more so on Godzilla. If I had to place blame, I would probably do so more so. I would probably blame push the blame on Wario than I would on DDD. Wario seems to be the character that needs to be more aggressive. Wario seems like he's the one that everyone's going to be looking to to not make. Because he has a lot more maneuverability than um, Wario. Um, than DDD. I mean, DDD is great in the air, but on the ground, he's pretty limited. Oh, that Gordo just sitting here on the left. Look at that. It's so cute. Yo, why isn't there a Gordo plush? Or if there is, I need the link so I can buy one. But in any case, enough smash from Peach. Really quick, really fast, and most importantly, really strong. Taking out the second stock of Deli Bird. Right now, Green Team is in the lead, taking very little damage. And just, well, actually, Godzilla was finally doing damage on him. d not able to punish with the up -beat. He tried, though. The effort was there. And the up air from DDD is going to take out Peach's second stock. So we have her down to a last situation. Godzilla is still holding on to a second stock at 128%. And that's really good. If DDD, if Deli Bird can get... What? There was no input from there. He didn't jump. He didn't up B. He just fell to his doom. What happened? He threw a Gordo and maybe the end lag on that is just that serious that he wasn't able to capitalize. But unfortunately, that does mean that we have a 2 on one situation um, between Godzilla and Sonic. I'm oh, sorry, Godzilla and um, D-Curb and Sync. The back, it was either back or a fair, but regardless, it was enough to get the KO. But Sync goes down with him, so that was a trade that might be worth it. But now this is the part where D-Curb is, I'm sorry, where Godzilla is going to be up a quick without a paddle. He has two fresh stocks that he has to take, um, take care of. Now, granted, he does have one fresh stock himself. Sync at 24%, 28%, and still do, um, being really evasive, which is why I was expecting Godzilla to be more aggressive in this, um, was it, to be more aggressive in this matchup than DDD because he can just move around a lot more and react a lot quicker than DDD can. And he's doing a great job keeping up damage percentages. Seeing as how this is 1v2, if the fact that they're keeping the damage, uh, he's, he, he's keeping the damage relatively close is uh, a good testament to him right there. He does have the WAF, so hopefully we can see, uh, hopefully he'll be able to land that and be able to claim one of these stocks. I thought you blew himself into a blast zone, but he did the KO. 
Oh, he did think of the KO on Sync. So right now it is up to D Curve to fight for his team. D Curve doing a great job of just holding off stage. No tech from that one. Do, do we even have, I don't think he has the bike anymore. He, I think he probably had the bike. There we go. Bowling back to the center of the stage. Getting caught by the fair. And that's going to be it. Godzilla with a great performance. Unfortunately, not enough to claim it for his team. Green team does go over on um, 1-0. And that's, that one could definitely be contributed to the SD loss from, D, from Delhi Bird. Like, I love him. He's a great guy. But you know what? When you SD on a basically fresh stock, that is your mistake. That's a huge mistake, especially in a double situation. You don't want that. Every damage you have is precious. And he just had almost none and just fell. He just fell. He flopped. He just bleh. So, I mean, that situation, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Don's uh, fighting hard. Definitely um, kept it close, but wasn't able to close it out versus Peach getting caught by the fair. And now I'm um, sure Dilly Bird is going to be taking I mean, even the look on his face right now doesn't look like somebody who really appreciated how he played in that matchup. And I mean, it's a little underwhelming from his, um, from his normal stature. So we have to see what he's doing. But in any case, here we go. The counter pick from D. Curry and Gaz. They are going to Battlefield. And this matchup is going to be... Uh, this, this stage, I feel like it definitely does favor um, Red Team more than it does Green Team. Um, just because, like, the maneuverability... I mean, granted, granted, we do have a lot of shocking opportunities from Peach. But otherwise, not much is happening. Deli Bird right now not paying attention to the fact that his partner was being um, very um, well led guarded on the ledge and wasn't trying to provide any sort of defensive maneuvers for him at all to get back to the stage. And that's one of the major things you need to remember in any doubles match is you need to make sure you are keeping your eye on your opponent, um, on your partner at all times. Not so much your opponent, so much that it is your partner. Such in a situation like this, if you have a choice between KOing an opponent or saving your partner, Please save your partner, and it's much better to have it on a two-on-two -two situation than a two-on-one. Yeah, than a two-on-one. Oh my! Reading a roll, a hard um, side smash from Wario, and then a dash attack catching D Curve off. Or was it catching Deeper off guard? Just taking the first two stocks. Red Team looking like they having a, so a lot of fun time, and Deli Bird right now being a really good um, diversion, just jumping in the air. D Curve was focusing solely on him. He didn't even notice that Godzilla was coming up and just completely clapped him. All right, so right now, um, Deli Bird is trying to fight them both off, and they're both focusing on Deli Bird. Deli Bird not wanting to leave a challenge, going out in there and putting the pressure on Sonic, putting too much on on Sonic, not able to recover. I think he air dodged way too low and wasn't able to pop the spring, the up B from Sonic, dropping him into his last stock, and we're already only a minute and 30 into this match. Three stocks is still on red team. This is definitely the stage of Spike from Deli Bird knocks him into his last stock. We have a 6v2 situation in a minute and 45 seconds um, into this match. This is wild. All right, now, unfortunately, both Red Team are off the stage. D Curb hitting his own partner, um, Waverly. Did he not putting a lot of pressure on it? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. What the heck just happened? Red team. That that gameplay was so aggressive, precise. That was sharp. Yo, that what just happened? It was a fully charged down smash, calling the roll. Deli Bird going in for I guess yo Deli Bird must have been mad at himself for that SD on game two because that man just claimed stocks. That man just got hard reads. That man was defending and of uh, and offensing. It was wild. I yo round of applause. That was a good show and that's the type of gameplay I expect to see from Deli Bird and Godzilla all the time. So um, a six stock to end up to close the set two one over um, D Curb and Sync.